Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Craig LePage from LePage Johnson Realty Group, and we've got a great video for you today. We are covering the town of Davidson, North Carolina. Let's hop right into it. Hey guys, we get calls, texts, and emails from people just like yourself each and every day looking to move to the Charlotte area. So if you find the information in this video helpful, please do not hesitate to reach out. We'd love to talk to you and help you out in your home buying process. Okay, before we get started, we're zooming in right on the map and we're going to go over some stats about Davidson. And then we're going to start our tour and visit several hot spots and neighborhoods that Davidson has to offer. Davidson is primarily located in Mecklenburg County in the Lake Norman region of Charlotte, and it sits approximately 28 miles from Uptown. It'll take you about 40 minutes to commute into the city, depending on the time of day and where you are in Davidson, of course. It's also important to let you know that there is a small area of Davidson on the east side that sits in Iredell County. The population of Davidson per the 2019 census is just over 13,000 people. The median household income in Davidson as of 2019 was 129,400. You can compare that to the North Carolina median household income, which is only 57,300. So you can see Davidson is substantially higher than the North Carolina average. Davidson is also known for its quality schools. Of course, there are public schools. There's also charter schools and private schools available here. Some of the public schools are shared with the neighboring town of Cornelius. For more information on schools, check the comments below in this video and we will have a link to all the Davidson area schools. Okay, before we get started with the primary part of our Davidson tour, we're going to take a quick visit to Uptown Charlotte where many Davidson residents commute to on a weekly basis. Let's go over a few key points about Uptown Charlotte. Charlotte is the 14th largest city in the U.S. and is also one of the fastest growing cities. It is the second largest banking city behind New York City and is home to Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Truist Financial, which is formerly BB&T and SunTrust, which have recently combined, as well as several other banks and financial institutions. Other major industries in the Charlotte area include energy, automotive, technology, healthcare, manufacturing, and financial services, just to name a few. Charlotte is also very well known for its professional sports teams. It is home to the NFL Carolina Panthers, the NBA Charlotte Hornets, the Charlotte FC MLS soccer team, the Charlotte Knights baseball team, which is a AAA affiliate to the White Sox, Charlotte Checkers hockey, which is a minor league team to the NHL Florida Panthers. And of course, you can't mention Charlotte without mentioning NASCAR. There are several NASCAR teams here. The NASCAR corporate offices are here. And of course, the NASCAR Hall of Fame is right here in Uptown Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte is definitely known for its racing roots. In addition to NASCAR, there are several other motorsports related teams, including drag racing, sports car teams, and the only US-based Formula One team is also here in Charlotte. So if you're into sports, Charlotte definitely got you covered. Okay, before we get back to Davidson, we're gonna take a quick trip over to Charlotte Douglas International Airport. People always ask how far they are from the airport when they're moving here. So we wanted to add this to the video to give you an idea how far the airport is and what the airport offers. Charlotte Douglas is a great airport. It's currently under a multi-billion dollar renovation set to be completed in 2025, but don't worry, it's still very easy to get in and out of this airport, even during construction. Uh, Charlotte Douglas is also the hub for American Airlines. So you can imagine the amount of flights and availability to go just about anywhere in the world out of this airport. So it's really convenient, it's a really nice airport, and it's going to be even better in 2025. With that, let's head back to Davidson and start our tour by heading to Main Street in downtown Davidson. The town of Davidson is best known for its charming small town feel, which includes several great restaurants, boutiques, and other hot spots like Summit Coffee, Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream, and of course, the local soda shop. On weekends, people gather at the Davidson Farmer's Market or catch up with some live music on the Library Green right in the center of town. 
The downtown area is truly a destination and a place where people go to relax, shop, grab a bite to eat, and socialize amongst friends. The downtown area also offers a variety of craft beer favorites and wine bars. Let's head over to our second destination, which is literally right across the street, and that is Davidson College. Davidson College is a beautiful campus that sits right off of Main Street and is best known for the place where two-time NBA MVP Steph Curry played all of his college ball. It is also very well known for political science, biology, and its economics programs. Campus serves as a great centerpiece to downtown. If you're in the area, you can't miss it. It's beautiful. It's great just to walk around and check out the scenes at Davidson College. With that, let's move on to our next location, and that is the neighborhood of Davidson Wood. The Davidson Wood neighborhood is a single phase neighborhood with the second phase set to break ground in 2023. The neighborhood consists mostly of high-end luxury homes ranging from $1 million to $2 million in price. There are also a series of luxury row homes in the neighborhood which are priced between $700 and $1 million in price. Residents of Davidson Wood are just a short walk from the Davidson Greenway that winds its way through several different neighborhoods. As mentioned, the second phase of Davidson Wood is set to break ground in 2023, so if you're interested in any of the current listings in this neighborhood or any of the new builds uh, for 2023, do not hesitate to reach out to us. We can send you all the latest information about Davidson Wood and what's to come in this great neighborhood. Davidson Wood is simply a great neighborhood convenient to just about everything in Davidson. If you're looking for a home in the $1 to $2 million range here in Davidson, uh, we definitely need to take a look at Davidson Wood when you come to town. All right, with that, let's head over to our next destination, and that is Lake Davidson. As you can see from the satellite view, Lake Davidson was once part of Lake Norman. In the 1980s, Interstate 77 was extended across the lake and Lake Davidson was created. Lake Davidson is on a small side spanning only 371 acres of surface area compared to Lake Norman that has over 32,000 acres of surface area. According to Davidson documentation, the lake is restricted to 10 horsepower motorboats, although I've seen ski boats on the lake that have more than 10 horsepower. The lake is a fantastic place for recreational people who like to canoe, kayak, paddleboard, and fish. Next up, we're going to take a brief stop at one of Davidson's many parks. Davidson offers several beautiful parks as well as a wildlife preserve located right on Lake Davidson itself. Residents and visitors enjoy water views, walking trails, playgrounds, picnic areas, and much, much more. If you're in the Davidson area, be sure to check out beautiful parks that this town has to offer. Let's head right over to our next neighborhood and this is West Branch. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods in the town of Davidson. Hey guys, over the last couple of years in Davidson, some new neighborhoods have popped up. One of them is right behind me. This one is called West Branch. Let's go take a look at it. Homes at West Branch start in the 400s and can reach up into the 800s. These are good size homes that range anywhere from 2,200 to 3,700 square feet in size and offer as many as five bedrooms. There are several green areas throughout, including a very large one in the center of the neighborhood that also includes a community playground. Other amenities here at West Branch include a clubhouse, a community pool, a dog area, and access to the Davidson Greenway right in the center of the neighborhood. If you're looking for a home here in Davidson between a $400,000 and $800,000 price range and like amenities, West Branch is definitely one to check out. As I mentioned, it's one of my favorites. It's very well kept. Uh, it's a great layout and the homes are beautiful. Next up, let's head over to a neighborhood called Davidson Point. This is a great neighborhood that sits on the shores of Lake Davidson. 
This popular neighborhood offers traditional homes with a touch of Charleston architectural vibe. Other amenities at Davidson Point include walking trails, a clubhouse, a canoe and kayak launch, boat slips, and a community pool. This is a very popular neighborhood that has limited homes for sale, so if you're interested in this particular neighborhood, make sure you reach out to us and we can keep our eyes and ears open for any new listings that come along. Let's move on to our next destination, and that is the River Run Country Club. River Run Country Club is a very large neighborhood offering several different phases with several different styles of luxury homes throughout. In addition, there are also new builds in newer phases that are available. Price points for River Run homes vary, but start in the 600s and can reach up as high as $3 million in price. Residents and members of River Run have the option of multiple memberships that include a newly renovated clubhouse with restaurant, lounge and ballroom, and an 18-hole golf course, a golf shop, tennis center, tennis shop, multiple pools, walking trails, a pizza shop cafe, a daycare, and a fitness facility. River Run is known as one of the top golf course communities in Lake Norman along with the Peninsula and the Point. If you're interested in River Run real estate information or membership information, be sure to reach out to us. We can get you all the latest information that is available. Our team here at LePage Johnson Realty Group has represented several sellers and buyers at River Run over the years, so we're very familiar with this neighborhood. Next up, let's head on over to the Davidson Bay neighborhood. The Davidson Bay neighborhood is made up mostly of high-end townhomes, as well as some beautiful waterfront luxury homes. You can also find mid-level townhomes here in Davidson Bay, and there's also a new phase that is offering off-water luxury single-family homes. Let's start off with the high-end townhomes here at Davidson Bay. As you can see, they are spectacular. Our team here at LePage Johnson represented the builder and sold each and every one of these townhomes a few years back when they were built, so we're very familiar with this area and this neighborhood. They are, uh, as you can see, they have stunning curb appeal, their interiors have the finest finishes, and they are super functional floor plans. Price points for these high-end townhomes at Davidson Bay can start at $800,000 and can reach up over a million dollars in price for some of the water view units. Mid-level townhomes here at Davidson Bay start in the 300s and can reach up to $500 in price. If you are looking to get on the water here at Davidson Bay in a single family home, there are only a few built and price point for those luxury homes on the water will start at about two million and can reach up as high as three million at the time of this video. These beautifully built custom homes are some of the finest in Davidson and offer some incredible interiors, eye-catching exteriors, and offer amazing views of Lake Davidson. As you can see, Davidson Bay has a lot of different types of homes to offer different price points so I mean if you're anywhere from 300,000 up over 2 million in price Davidson Bay has something for you so if you're interested in this neighborhood or any other ones like this once again be sure to reach out to us we'll get you the up-to-date information and availability of anything uh, as far as listings that's going on in this particular neighborhood or any others that you're interested in so with that let's go to our next stop and that is Lake Norman Lake Norman has been showcased in a few of our other videos already, so you might already know some of the information I'm about to tell you. Only a small portion of Davidson sits on the shores of Lake Norman, but many Davidson residents enjoy what the lake has to offer. Residents and visitors alike enjoy boating, fishing, swimming, water sports, and breathtaking views. Lake Norman is a much larger lake than Lake Davidson with a whopping 34,000 acres of surface area and 325 miles of beautiful shoreline. It is also a mile wide at its widest point. Let's head over to our next destination and that is Davidson Landing. Davidson Landing is a popular Davidson hotspot and is located on a small portion of Davidson that sits on the shores of Lake Norman. 
Davidson Landing is a small commercial waterfront destination that offers office space, boutique shopping, craft beer bars, wine bars, boat slips, and the North Harbor Waterfront Restaurant. This is the perfect place to come and enjoy a stroll along the water, see the shops, and then relax with a glass of wine or beer, taking in the views of beautiful Lake Norman. Regardless of where you choose to live in the Lake Norman area, Davidson Landing is a place that you will likely visit at some point. Our next stop on the tour is actually right here on the same peninsula of Davidson Landing, and that is the residential area of Davidson Landing. There are multiple townhome and condominium complexes to choose from here at Davidson Landing. If you are looking for a townhome or condominium in Davidson, but like the Lake Norman side, Davidson Landing is where you will need to look. There's plenty to choose from here. Although most of these were built in the 90s or early 2000s, most have been renovated since. Each of these complexes offers different amenities, which include boat slips, pools, green areas, canoe and kayak launches, beaches, clubhouses, tennis courts, and much, much more. Price ranges in these complexes start in the high 200s and can reach up over 800,000 for some of the premium units looking out over Lake Norman. If you are looking for a townhome or condominium with great lake views, with access to nearby things to do, Davidson Landing is definitely your best choice. Let us know what you're looking for and we'll find the perfect fit for you. All right, our final destination of the day is a special one and this is a luxury neighborhood called Narrow Passage. At the time of this video, many of the homes in this neighborhood were still under construction. Each home in Narrow Passage is custom designed and built by some of Charlotte's finest builders. At the time of recording of this video, there were still a number of lots available in Narrow Passage for future builds. So if you're interested in potentially building a home here in this neighborhood or even another neighborhood like it, uh, reach out to us. We can help you out and see what's available and help you through that process. Narrow Passage offers a beautiful wooded environment with large home sites to choose from. Homes in this community start in the 800s and can climb up over 3 million in price point. Narrow Passage sits among the elite neighborhoods of the town of Davidson. If you like what you saw, please do not forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the bell to see our latest videos available.